pre-crime. It's not just in Minority Report. Uh, scientists have found a way to predict whether convicted criminals are going to commit another crime. Uh, it's a little technical here, but basically they scan the anterior cingulate cortex, the ACC, in uh, 96 prisoners, and the area in the brain that's associated with decision making they found often was smaller, and they followed these convicts for about four years, thus finding out that many of them did cause repeat crimes. So my question to you guys, broad topic here, is everything that we've ever seen in science fiction going to destroy us? Because this is Minority Report, one of my favorite movies, and are we all going to suffer from science fiction and everything that uh, has been in every movie? I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. You know, no, um, <laughs> Hey, uh, science fiction writers saw this stuff and were able to write about it because they, they saw it as a possibility. And I mean, this is clockwork orange to a T. I mean, Anthony Burgess, that's, that's what it is, you know, trying to, uh, can we figure out how to, you know, uh, impact free will enough when free will runs afoul to stop crimes from being committed. And um, that movie obviously had a lot to say on the topic and not everything was, you know, crystal, not a lot of crystal clear conclusions. But hey, yeah, I think, and I'm, I'm not an alarmist about like, you know, about technology and everyone bitching that some, you know, Mark Zuckerberg owns them because he knows that they purchase something off Bonobos or something. <laughs> um, good plug, good Yeah, plug. thank you. Uh, but yeah. um, I, this starts to concern me because you could, there's so many other factors mm -hmm. and so much other data that you could use to correlate, you know, a, a, a production, production for crime. And you think about it, and one thing that a lot of people never touch on is that crime has gone down a lot over the last 20 years or so. So the same factors that were, you know, uh, that were at play 20 years ago are at play now. And some of those people didn't commit crimes. So how do you reconcile that and how do you, whatever solution that they're gonna uh, generate from this new data and being able to predict this, how I, trying to apply it without completely destructive effects, I, I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, so where do you think this puts the nature versus nurture argument? If you're just predisposed to be a criminal, then is that it? Then should we be locking people up? No, before? I think, I mean, even the study alone, if you, you know, if, if when you continue to read into it, um, there's some links to, to the in-depth analysis of the study and of course you know at the end of it even though that they they did find I think it was almost you know double the amount of the inmates with like the low activity of that part of the brain for like the actions and the decision making they did find that that there was other variables in place too of course this wasn't a perfect study but they saw it could be contributed to too much caffeine it could be like loose variables and then of course there's the nature versus nurture did they grow up in poverty so there's so many variables um, it would take a really long time and a whole lot more science to really break into that study and make sure that you know that it is perfect variable free before they could implement this yeah. into the prison system and aren't there a ton of just sociological things such as or socioeconomic things such as if you grew up poorer and were given a worse diet and had less nutrition that that does affect your development and your brain and all that well is it specifically decision making that's, that's, that's the part of to, that's supposed to equal a future in, in, in crime well, what do you predict? What part of your brain is <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I, I stopping make, you from committing I make, crime? I make very bad decisions, yeah. but they don't lead. They don't lead to uh, you know uh, like cr 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 criminality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my position on the porn class. Maybe I should have chosen the other way, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go out and uh, hold yeah. somebody up. Actually, speaking of the porn thing, haven't they proven that when you're watching porn, like a certain part of your brain actually is shrinking, like it's really? actually feeding uh -oh. endorphins or something? And oh, yeah. he lost his train of thought as we were. <laughs> As we were saying it. Um, all that porn clearly. Um, yeah, a lot, they're, uh, not that I'm a neuroscientist, even though that's how I got on the show by telling you that I was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it says neuroscientist. Uh, yeah, yeah there's, certain, there's certain parts of the brain that are just associated with pleasure and stimulation, you know, aggression. And they cover, it, that's really interesting that they cover a lot of the same ground between violence and sex. Yeah. And um, you know, it's probably an indictment of the entire male gender that those are the things that, that kind of shape our goals. Uh, but we'll just <laughs> wait, push wait that to There's the no, side. No, there won't, no women having poor decision criminal thoughts? Is that what? <laughs> Women are excluded. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Women are totally. I, actually, I would. That would be. It'd be very interesting. That would be interesting to yeah. know whether. Uh, it would or be how interesting if there was actually some data there that was worth talking about. I what? mean, there's no. There's. there's are you there's available actually, for a study? Anytime soon? <laughs> yeah. There's, 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 there's nothing there really there that that makes this study any more sophisticated than just like. Common sense. Didn't we didn't we get a word like phrenology was proven wrong at right. a certain point, right? Like Maybe you can't. In your world. You can't. You can't. You can't tell by the shape of someone's head whether or not they're, they're a bad. Uh, uh, egg, is that right? 
Well, it's interesting. I think I thought what, what I... <laughs> Are you well, speak to us on that one, or you? <laughs> what I thought was interesting about the study, because for the people that they did follow the four years after, yeah, um, and they were able to see, and yes, there were other variables. Like I say, there were the, the caffeine, like random variables that could have contributed to it. But in the end, they did see that the people that were reoffending. Um, did have significantly um, less activity within that area of action and decision making. So if they could perfect it years down the road, it could be 20 years, whatever, I think that would be incredible. Um, like I said before, carefully speaking, if it was variable free to be able to see which criminals are going to reoffend and which aren't. That would be an ideal situation. Bonobos.com is the official outfitter of the Ruben Report. Use code TRR20 to get this shirt and these jeans.